Hey everybody, and I am so excited today to be unboxing or unveiling a wonderful bargain that I found. Um, so that everybody overseas in the USA and Europe can know the struggle. Um, Lishtum notebooks can only be bought on Amazon.com here in South Africa or through import other sites that do imports from Amazon.com. So the Lishtum notebook, which is this one, and I've only ever had one, costs us about 600 Rand, which is um, about 35 US dollars just to get it to South Af shipping and purchase to get it to South Africa. And we all know that that is like the favored bullet journal. This is my old one. Um, and we all know that this is like the favorite bullet journal. Then the second option is Moleskine, which is the one that I have been using. And I've been using a Moleskine because it's about 300 Rand. There is a local supplier. Um, 300 Rand is approximately 20 US dollars. So I've been using uh, Moleskine. Um, unfortunately, as, you, as everybody knows online, lead through can become quite bad, especially on certain pages. Um, you can see over here. But I found this in a shop called CNA, which stands for Central News Agency here in South Africa. And the best part is the price, 139 Rand 90 cents. So let's say 140 Rand. That's less than 10 US dollars. And I can literally go to the shopping mall and buy it there at the place. I don't have to pay any shipping costs to get it to me. So this is the first time I've ever bought one. And I am going to be take, opening it up and taking a look at it for the first time now. Right, let's go. I'm so excited about this. I just want to make sure that my camera is filming because I don't want to have to do this twice. I won't be able to. <laughs> let's see. Okay. This says, okay, it's a bullet journal, ivory paper, 120 GSM. Um, I be believe, if I'm not mistaken, a um, moleskin is about 70 GSM and a leash term is 80 GSM. Um, I'm not sure about that. So it claims that it's 120 GSM, which means the paper is going to be a lot thicker. Then it's a brand called Kenzel, which I've never heard of before, that says made in China. Bullet Journal Black. The cover is a very matty sort of finish. It doesn't feel as smooth as the Lish Term or as smooth as the Moleskin. So it's a very, yeah, it feels very matte sort of finish on the cover. Then let's see. What happened? Ooh, the elastic is nice and solid. Very strong elastic. Right. Let's have a look. Okay. Covering is off. Nothing on the insert like they sometimes have on the moleskins, but that's okay. <laughs> I never use the moleskin in, um, covering either. Let's have a look. Okay, the pages are not numbered. Wow, this is like super thick paper. I can really feel, yes, like, I can't believe it. This paper is so, so thick. In comparison okay I, I believe them when they say it's it's 120 GSM it's really really thick paper can't believe it ah oh, it's got a pocket at the back excellent and let's lastly see the ribbon okay there's only a single ribbon 
but I can live with that because moleskin also only has a single ribbon. The quality looks pretty good as well. Um, doesn't look like it's going to break apart by what I can tell. Yeah, I am extremely impressed. Okay, I'm going to do a pen test in the back. And let's see. Let's see how it fares up in a pen test. Okay, I've got my pens that I usually use in the bullet journal. And I brought a Sharpie as well, which I never use in the bullet journal because the bleed is so bad. So I want to see how it does with the Sharpie. Let's have a look. These are the pens that I usually use. Um, Artline Fine Liner or Pilot Fine Liner, 0.4. So let me write... Pen test. I've been quite heavy handed. Oh my word, look at that. No bleeding through, just a little bit of ghosting. And the ghosting isn't too bad at all compared in comparison. Okay, let's try the pilot. See how this goes. Oh, this pilot is running out of ink. Anyway, also brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Okay, um, I, I just have to try the Sharpie now. Okay. So the Sharpie does come through with a tiny bit of bleeding, but look, in comparison to anything else, this is actually quite good. Um, I, did, I did expect the Sharpie to go through a little bit, but there's nothing that's come onto the other side of the page. Let's see what the highlighters, how the highlighters be. Well, in these cases, uh, these are Croxley, um, they're Croxley, uh, not highlighters, pastel highlighters, I th think, not, they're not really pastel, anyway, so let's see, wow, I can I can barely even see the highlighters coming through, okay, last test, I'm not going to test all of these pens, but I'm going to just do a few of the main colours that I usually use. I have no idea what happened. While I was busy writing out the pen test, um, it stopped filming. So I just wanted to say the last little bit. I've done all the colours over there. And the grand reveal is wow. I am super impressed. There's very, very little bleeding through. There's, there's, no, go there's no bleeding through. There really isn't. Um, there's only a tiny little bit of ghosting, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I am so impressed with this this journal and I think I've found my new favorite journal. So for anybody that might be interested, the brand is Kinzel. It says made in China. Um, it's www.kinzel.co.za. I haven't been to their website. Um, but it's a South African website, so maybe this brand is only available here in South Africa. I don't know. 
that kenzel.co.za and yeah it's really i am super super impressed by it i found this as i say it's at a shop called cna a central news agency that's what it stands for and the price on it was 139 rand and 90 cents which is ridiculously cheap for the quality that you've got ridiculously cheap <laughs> anyway so yeah this is my new bullet journal and i'm looking forward to filling it out from the front um no index but that's okay no numbers on the pages but i'm, I'm totally okay with that um you, it's better quality than the mole skin as far as the paper quality goes and even better paper quality than the leash term i must say so yeah this is it this is my journal for the next well, let's say three, four months. Thanks for watching.